Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to create dependent drop-down list for、uh, something like seller structure. So to start with,、uh, let me just give you some background on what we're trying to do here.、Um, so as an HR、uh, professional, you might be a,、uh, given two seller structure, like say one for Canada and one for India, and then for each of those seller structures, you will have、uh, different grades, and then for each of those those job grades, you will have the minimum, mid, and max for the salary range. So now you have、um, an employee list, which might be employee number, employee name, or whatever, and then you need to be able to To select for country whether they belong to Canada or India, and then for each of the country that you select, you wanted to make sure that they have a drop down list for all the、uh, job grades that we're seeing here, and then it needs to be different for Canada, which is one to ten, and for India, it needs to be four to eleven because we don't have anyone in grade one to three. And then, based on those two selections, we want the salary structure to come up to show the salary range for that specific employee. So, how do we do that? Okay, so now I'm gonna decode step by step.、Uh, the first step is actually to、um, reorganize the salary structure in a way that is easy for we look up. So, here,、um, let's select、um, the salary.、Uh, Structure copy, and then we want to make it into this format. So how do we do that?、Um, actually, you need to use the function called pay,、uh, paste transpose. So which is this、uh, transpose? Which is this icon here? So you go like this.、Uh, for this is for Canada, and then we do the same thing for India. You copy the full table, select、uh, the top left, and then go for paste special. You either go to this call icon or you go to paste special.、Uh, go to click transpose and then OK. And then here you go. So actually, this is、uh, the salary structure that we're gonna need. And then basically, let's copy the country code here, and let's copy.、Uh, The country code here, and then for those、um, ones we don't really need it.、Um, it doesn't hurt to keep it, but then for the sanity of our data set, let's just clean it and then let's move our country code up. So now we have a sal、um, a job、um, salary structure table like this. Uh, which is ready for the lookup, and then we just make sure that we need to add the we lookup code here, which is、uh, Canada and their grade. So, which is is that as you can see for all the number we have here, if you have a unique country code and job、uh, job grade combination, you can. Look up to、uh, the specific salary range. So now we have this setup ready. Now let's go back. So here, the first thing we need to do is to create the country uh, uh, country、uh, job down table, which is、um, relatively easy. You go to data validation. You see now it's allowing any value go to list,、um, and then typing Canada, India. And here you go. You see the arrow there, and then when you go here, it's Canada or India. Or alternatively, if you have a long list,、uh, an alternative way to do it is to still go to data validation, but then for the list part, the source, instead of just typing things up, you can go to your pre-created list and then select the full list, OK it, and then you actually get the same result. Okay, so now we have the country selection list ready, and then actually, if you copy this down, you get the same thing for every single cell.、Um, so now let's make this job grade、uh, selection dependent to our country code. How do we do that? So the first thing you need to do is actually still.、Um, Uh, well, eventually we're gonna still use data validation to do it. But how do we make it、um, 
independent to the country code. So to do that, the first thing you actually need to do is to go back here and then make sure you name the job grade list as you um, that you need. For example, for Canada, we know the grade is going to run from 1 to 10. So select from 1 to 10 in your salary structure table and then name it on the top left. You see here, name it as Canada, go enter, which means that we have created a name range of Canada. And then let's do the same for India. So select 4 to 11 and then let's go for India, create the name of India. Here we go. So now let's go here to see the named range that we have. So for example, if we want to select Canada, you see it's selecting 1 to 10 and then for India 4 to 11. OK, so now we have two named ranges. Um, now let's create that with the job grade for to do this you go to data validation you still have list but then now what you need to do is to use a formula called indirect and then the indirect uh, function is actually dependent on the value of the cell which in our case is b6 and uh, here we go. And then actually, let's get rid of the absolute sign before six because we want it to be um, to be um, um, respective for other rows. We want it to be the respective row, not always be six. Okay, so let's OK it, and then let's see what's happening. So you see, for Canada, we have one to ten. And then for India, we have 4 to 11. So the function of indirect is essentially transforming uh, the named range value, for our case Canada or in, uh, India, into a number value or in, into the named range value that we need. And this is very handy when we have this kind of drop down list. And then actually, if you copy this formula down, and then let's say you go to the next row and then you look at the data validation, you see here now it's indirect B7, which is actually this row. And this is exactly what we want. So now you have, so now let's say we can select Canada and then we can select five for this person. And then we can do any other selection that we want. So this can be very handy and then it makes uh, the data input much more accurate. OK, so now we have the job down set up. How do we do the salary structure? Uh, it is actually easy if you just use the VLOOKUP function. So VLOOKUP um, and you need to look up. Remember how we set it up in the salary structure tab. Now you just need to make sure you uh, combine the country code and the job grade code to get uh, a unique reference. And then you go to the um, table that we already set up. See, this is what we have here. And then just look at the rows. Like, for example, when we um, try to look up from here to the minimum, it's um, it is column six. Um, and then if we want to look at the mi mi uh, middle, you see the five C there. That means it's column five and then max is column four. So let's select the full range and then you go F4 to make it an absolute reference. And then we go back to this tab. Uh, and then basically, you need to make sure the minimum we set is looking up to row number six. And then we want it to be an uh, exact match, which is force or zero. And then let's see. And then we can probably format it properly. So for Indian, um, job grade seven, the salary structure is medium is this number. Let's see if that makes sense. So Indian seven, the minimum, it is exactly what we want. 
Okay, so that that's a confirmation that we're doing a, uh, the right thing. So now what you need to do is also to have an absolute sign there so that when you copy the formula uh, to the right, the reference does not change. So let's copy the formula to the right. Uh, and then you see the reference does not change. Um, however, we need to look up the mid column, which is column five. And then we need to look up for the max, which is column four, as we just talked about. And here we go. So this is the uh, seller structure that we have. And then usually uh, you can format it any way you want. And then let's uh, and then actually let's copy it down. And boom, you have exactly the kind of um, salary structure that you need and then the best part about it is that if you want to change the salary grade um, the salary structure range would change automatically just like that okay so this is exactly how we create the dependent drop down list um, and you might notice that this is part one so actually uh, in the next video i'm going to show you one step further so we were able to use the indirect function for indian for canada this kind of reference but then what if we have space what if we have a really long um, country name within the country name uh, if that's the case can we still use the indirect function to look up the named range and do this kind of drop down my answer is yes but we need some tweak of it and i will explain further in the next video if you find this video helpful please like it and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please leave a comment and i'll be happy to answer it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon